Welcome to Corey's Conscious Living. Hi guys. Do you want to be in the cat club? Do you know what the cat club is? Heidi, Cherry and Vea have an exclusive club for members to come and join. It's $7 a month. Every 7th of the month you get three exclusive Heidi, Cherry and Vea stories that only you get to listen to. No one else that's not in the club gets to get these stories, so they're very special. If you want to know more about it, get a guardian or your mum and dad to help you to look at the link below the video to check out the cat club. Namaste, my little friend. Enjoy your story. Are you ready? To meditate with Kari, make sure that you're very, very still, extremely quiet, so that you can let go of your day and relax your body and allow yourself to eventually fall to sleep. Coriander loved crystals. Crystals are basically rocks, all different shapes and sizes and colors. The thing with crystals is the more people you know that are into spirituality, awareness of themselves and the world, witchy poory kind of stuff. You get to know about crystals. Crystals, each one of them, has a different property. And what I mean by that is each crystal, each rock, has its own energy and its own purpose. So, for example, two of Coriander's favorite crystals were rose quartz and black tourmaline. Rose quartz is like a very soft, gentle, pinkish color crystal. And it's known for its properties of healing your heart, for opening your heart, for creating that loving energy. So when you have the crystal near you, or in your pocket, or in your hand, or on your altar, then your intention is to somehow create more love, either for yourself or for other people. Black tourmaline is a black crystal, and it has a completely different purpose. Black tourmaline is a crystal that's known to absorb negative energy. So if you hold the crystal and you're not in a very good mood, the odds are is that your crystal can help you to feel better because it absorbs the energy, the negative energy that's creating your bad mood. It pulls it out of you in an energetical, magical way. But also, black tourmaline is really good for protection. So not only does it make you feel better, but it also protects you from all of the other things in the world that could possibly be negative. So if you keep black tourmaline in your backpack or in your pocket, then it makes you feel protected and more safe. Those were the two favorites of Coriander. And she'd had them for a long time now. She got lots of other crystals, all different colors, but those two were her favorite. They were her favorite because to her, they definitely were magical. There was one time when Coriander was with one of her friends that was in a 
very bad mood. She was so grumpy, so moody. She was complaining about everything. Her friend was like, Oh, why is it raining? Oh, I hate the rain. Oh, gosh, it's so cold today. I hate it when it's cold. Oh, it's too hot today. The sun is just blustering away. It's awful. I hate it when it's too sunny. Coriander really didn't like the word hate. She thought it was one of the words that shouldn't be in the dictionary. How can you hate something, she thought. She could understand that you might not like something. But hate it? Hate it seems such a bad word. So strong and just negative. Just thinking about the word hate made Coriander want to put her black tourmaline crystal in her pocket. She felt very guilty, in fact, that these days, every time she was around her friend Becky, she just felt the need to have her black tourmaline. But then, she also had a wonderful idea. In her left pocket, she would put her black tourmaline. That way, hopefully, it would absorb all of Becky's energy, all the negative stuff, the grumpy stuff. And then, in her right pocket, she would put in her rose crystals. She had one in the shape of a love heart, And she had one that was just round that felt really nice when you held it in your hand. She put both of them, doubling up on the energy. Double up on the love, she thought. She put both of them in her right pocket. What if the black tourmaline absorbs all the grumpiness out of my friend Becky and she stops saying the word hate? And when all the black stuff is gone, all the negativity is gone, all the grumpy, horrible moods have gone, maybe she'll allow some love into her world. That's where the rose quartz will come into it. We'll blast her with double the love. She won't be able to help herself but be happy. She'll feel loved. She'll feel love for herself love for the world, love for me, her friend. It will all be perfect. She just had to get near enough to her so that the magic of the crystals could work. Becky was grumping away. She was sat on a bench at school. It was break time. Grump, grump, grump. Oh gosh, my mum made me PB and J sandwiches. I really hate PB&J sandwiches. They're just so sticky and yucky. (sighs) And I've got orange juice today. Orange juice is the worst. Mum knows I like lemon juice. She was going on and on and on. The thing is, with Coriander being a witch and all, she could actually see The black cloud growing bigger and bigger around her friend Becky. We have this thing. It's called an aura. And this is real. An aura is basically like a cloud of energy around you. And if you can... And if you really want to, and if you practice, you can see people's auras. Coriander had been able to see people's auras since she was very tiny. She called them rainbow people or storm cloud people. Her mum didn't know what she was talking about because her mum didn't see auras, but Coriander did. Some people have an aura that's so bright, it makes you instantly happy when you see it. And some people have an aura that's just 
like a rain cloud. This was Becky. Coriander really liked her friend Becky, but for some reason, over this last year, she just got grumpier and grumpier and grumpier, and her aura had gone from being a rainbow aura full of happy colours and fun colours and joyful colours that you want to be around. Her aura had turned into a rain cloud. It was grey and dark and very miserable looking. If Coriander looked around the playground, she could see rainbows and storm clouds. There was a mixture of both. She normally stayed away from storm clouds. They weren't the best people. They tended to be a little bit grumpy or a little bit negative, angry, mean, just not very nice. And the energy around them, their aura, looked like a rain cloud just because of that. Lots of times Coriander would find herself thinking, oh, I wish I could give everyone a rose crystal. I wish I could give everyone a black tourmaline just to make the world a better place. But let's face it, lots of people have never heard of crystals and their energy and their healing powers. And lots of people that have heard of them think that they're crazy and a load of rubbish. So her wish to change the world with crystals was probably a long ways away before it actually would ever come true. But that's beside the point. Right now, Coriander had made it her wish to help Becky feel better, to take away her rain cloud and to bring back her rainbow. She just needed to get close enough. The thing was, Becky didn't really know very much about Coriander's powers. All of her witchy powers. All of her magical powers. Coriander, for some reason, never felt comfortable sharing them with Becky. So Becky didn't even know about crystals. So it wasn't like Coriander could just say, Hey, put these crystals in your pocket, Becky. They'll make you feel better. She had to do it in a cleverer, smarter way than that. Coriander sat next to Becky, really close on the bench. Becky said, Oh, do you have to sit so close? I hate it when you sit that close. I feel suffocated. Becky shuffled along the bench and moved away from Coriander. Coriander thought, oh, Darn it. How is the magical powers of my crystals supposed to work if they don't get close enough? Coriander said to Becky, I've noticed that you've been quite grumpy these days. Is there anything that you think you want to talk to me about? Is everything okay at home? Is everything okay with mum and dad? Has your sister been okay lately? Is something happening that you want to share with me that you haven't told me? Becky said, No. At first she looked a little bit defensive. Her face got all scrunched up as if she was going to say something really mean once again. But then it softened. And then it looked quite sheepish, like something was going on. And Coriander had just discovered it. But Becky wasn't going to tell her. You can talk to me about anything, said Coriander. We're friends. I'll just listen. Maybe just talking about it and having someone to talk to could make you feel better. Becky just shrugged her shoulders. I'm fine. Stop bothering me. Coriander sighed 
out loud. <sighs> okay then. She looked at the other kids playing on the playground and wondered how she was going to fix this. Then she had an idea. Maybe she would ask Becky if she could borrow her library book. I'll get it out of your backpack, she said. In the meantime, Coriander grabbed a hold of her rose quartz, the two that she had in her pocket, and the black tourmaline crystal. She held them tight in her right hand and undid the zipper. Becky said, Hurry up! Grumpy again. Her storm cloud seemed to be getting bigger and bigger. Coriander felt quite desperate. How can I help my friend? I really have to help her. Her storm cloud is going to take over the whole school soon. It's so big and foul and dark and grey and grumpy. It's like a giant, big, massive, horrible storm cloud. It's going to rain on the whole school. And then if it keeps growing, it would rain on the whole world. Coriander could be a little bit dramatic sometimes. But she took it very seriously, changing the world. She wanted the world to be a good place. A place full of love and kindness and compassion. And she knew deep down inside that Becky was just hurting somehow. And that's what was making her so grumpy. Coriander dropped the crystals into Becky's backpack and zipped it back up as she was taking out the library book. She sat down next to Becky and waited. She was watching her aura. She stood up and stood across from her so she could see it better and pretended to just talk about what they were going to do next in English class. Oh, I ate English, said Becky. The cloud around Becky didn't change at all at first. Coriander got very discouraged. They got five minutes before the bell would ring, and then it was time to go to English class. This might not work, thought Coriander. Oh, this is terrible. But then she noticed that Becky's rain cloud started to shrink. Just a little bit. At first she kind of blinked a few times and thought maybe it was her imagination. Maybe it was just wishful thinking. She was so desperate for Becky to feel happy again. But it was right. She was right. The storm cloud was shrinking. And at first, she noticed a ray of light coming right from the top of Becky's head. The light was like a golden yellow color. Oh, it's working, she thought to herself trying not to smile and overreact and get super giddy and happy and jump all over the place screaming, Yes! 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 For crystals! That's what she wanted to do. Crystals are so magic! Crystals are so magic! But she didn't. She stayed calm and just carried on watching. As Rebecca's aura got brighter, Yellow, then pinks and oranges and purples, greens and blues started sprouting out of Rebecca's body, forming this shape all around her that just looked like Rebecca but bigger. Her aura was back to being a rainbow colour. The black tourmaline was doing its magic. The rose quartz was opening her heart and making her feel loved and good inside. Rebecca said, I really like English. It's my favourite class. 
Coriander's mouth dropped open. It was the first positive thing that she'd heard Rebecca say in the longest time. <gasps> oh, it's so nice to have my friend back. Then, Becca proceeded to talk about all of her favourite things in the world. And what kind of day it was. And how great the day was. And how she really liked having a friend called Coriander. And this backpack that her mum had got her was the best. Everything that came out of Becca's mouth was so positive. She just must feel good. Hooray for crystals. And in that moment, just a split second of sadness came into Coriander's heart. If only the whole world knew the power and the magic of crystals. But then she smiled. She picked up her own backpack off the floor that had other crystals in it and started to walk to English with her friend, Rebecca. There was now a very happy girl. The end.